Will she be coming back? That is the big question for all Selene fans and anyone who is a Neji Fanji enjoyer and watcher and everything. We do not know because Neji Sanji and Selene have pretty much stayed quiet since uh, since the last time she sent anything. She hasn't streamed for about a month now. So it has been a while. Uh, people start getting anxious during these times, and I'm here to answer some questions. Now, what we know so far, just going by what we know so far, of course, this is Selene Tatsuki. She is a very, very avid Apex player. She is a very rambunctious, charismatic person. She brings a lot to the table, and her dragoons are missing her, of course, as any fans would. Where did this all start? Where did this all start? This all started with Slentotsky's uh, last cup of coffee, which she put out for, for Christmas. This was last year, just a month ago, just about. She put this out for Christmas. This was a big, big showing. According to her previous life account, she spent around $15,000 for this. This is all going by her previous life account, which I will not mention here in full totality. I'll just say she does have a previous life account. Almost every single large VTuber who is a part of any of these organizations has a large account, has a previous account that they have before any of this stuff started. So here's what she says. She put it out. She supposedly got right, got permission from the rights holders. And she even, like, later I'm going to show a video of her saying that she had gotten permission from the rights holders. But here she apologizes the same day that it came out, I believe, or the day after. Uh, Hello, I apologize, but management has privated the song. Please feel free to re-upload since a lot of money and effort was done by so many Dragoons. I'm really sad that this happened on Christmas, but I hope somehow you guys will still be able to listen to it in some way. Anyone who knows about Selene in the past, and even Selene as Selene Tatsuki, she always wants to pay the uh, artist and wants to pay people what they deserve. She had a, another run-in with Niji Sanji management in the past for an art competition that Niji Sanji didn't want to pay anybody for. Niji Sanji was just going to try to take the rights for everything. Selene didn't like that. And Selene actually was like, we're going to be paying uh, all the finalists, like at least 500 bucks or something like that. And then the, the finalist out of her own pocket, she was going to pay the semi-finalist and the finalist but I think there was the top five and then there was the, the one who won. They were each going to get paid money for what they did. They were going to get paid for the work that they put out. And yes, then afterwards, the, it was, everything was going to get transferred to Niji Sanji. But she is not the type of person to just do things willy-nilly. And she's not the type of person to take other people's work and just use it as her own. She's not and has never been that type of person. So the fact that this happened with management is it was very annoying frustrated and um she also said that uh she wants people to re-upload like she says right there she wants a lot of people to re-upload it tons of channels i've checked tons of channels have some of them have been struck down by niji sanji some of them haven't it's really strange how they're nitpicking which ones do and don't but it seems like niji sanji has kind of come in there any color and try to, to strike down some of them which is strange since they supposedly said that no right, they basically are saying that they don't have the full rights, but they're still striking down some channels. From what I have heard, again, correct me if I'm wrong down in the, the comments down below. I always want to have corrections in case of something, you know, is said incorrectly. I try to get all my information right, but sometimes you mess up. So this is what happened last year. And then uh, this is what she said. Hey, Pichu and um, her producer said gave me permission to to cover uh, last couple. I honestly did not did not think I didn't think uh, they would say yes because like it took I okay I've asked permission to do a cover of this song since last year but I didn't get like approval for it for a while and then like and then I like uh because they were like missing the producer uh approval and then so like. I actually reached out to the producer because I realized like we had like mutual like follow followings and then I was like hey can I do a cover of your song and then he was like oh yeah yeah of course of course you can and I was like cool can you respond to the email I was like by the way you have an email can you respond <laughs> it's like oh shit sorry I didn't see the email I didn't, I didn't see and she has to do all of this because Niji Sanji, you know, because you're running a large corporation, you need to have full rights and all that kind of stuff. See the email, but I just responded. <laughs> so I was just like, thank you. 
and then I got I got the hip, I got the hip approval. So then, and then and then I just like and then we just got approval for the last cup of coffee. I was like, yeah. And that's where we were uh, after this whole thing started. This is I. You know, it was a whole big stink when it first started. When it first happened, it was a huge stink. People were like, if she got permission, she even said so in her own words that she got permission. Why did they private it? Now, Emily Parfait, which is another Nidhi Sanji Yen liver, uh, VTuber, she, you know, chimed in, which annoyed a lot of people. I mean, people are going to be tribalistic in everything. Even inside Nidhi Sanji, they're tribalistic. So she angered some people. But here's what she said. Wait, what happened? That's so weird. I think anyone who uploads covers have never encountered anything like this before. Did you receive a confirmation slash OK sign for, to Manisan before uploading this cover? They won't really private something special like this as long as there was the OK. The song was really cute too. I hope things get figured out ASAP. Now here's where people were like, OK, people already have an issue with Millie because she's always been, Millie has definitely been a, uh, a stan for Niji Sanji. Uh, even though Niji Sanji has had a lot of issues, you don't hear them from from Millie. And I think a lot of people who are critical of Niji Sanji have disliked her for that specific reason because of the fact she's really been... I think she even went on stream when people were saying, oh, it's a black company. And then she tried to put uh, the explanations of what a black company is to try to, you know, counteract the, the stuff that was coming out against Niji Sanji. So that has her already on people's radar as maybe not such a great... Uh, person like a reasonable person when it comes to Niji Sanji as in maybe she has blinders on but later on recently I think after after that happened after you know all that stuff was said th this happened someone sent through the complaint forms and the 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 uh the forms that Niji Sanji has to get answer to get answers to any issues that you have they responded to somebody who has been redacted because they don't want to be brigaded by Niji Sanji haters or brigaded by people who love Niji Sanji. They just don't want to be mistreated online, so they redacted themselves. Dear Blank, thank you for always supporting Niji Sanji EN. The music video you have inquired about had not yet passed some of the steps of our internal verification process, and the necessary permissions from all parties involved in the video had not been obtained yet. The video will be unavailable to watch until these necessary steps are completed. Once we have confirmed with the parties involved, the video will be made available to watch. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Now, here's where the tinfoil hat stuff happens. Uh, a lot of people are saying, because of what this is saying, maybe she got stealth suspended, as Neji Sanji is known for their stealth suspensions. They are known to, put suspend to make the livers uh, that are under their company say things like, oh, you know what, I need to take a bit of a break, or I need to go on vacation, you know, uh, I was not feeling so great, I was sick, etc. A lot of those were found later on by the community to very likely be stealth suspensions. Also, you have things like none of the livers, unlike Cover Corp, none of the livers in any color have kept their play buttons. As in, YouTube sends you a play button at 100k, a million and I think 10 million they send you a diamond play button supposedly and they didn't receive them people who are at 100k and more didn't receive their 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 silver play buttons they Niji Sanji got them at their headquarters how do we know because every single play button has the exact same table the exact same background the exact same lighting it's hard to reproduce that in everybody's home everyone's gonna have different lights some are gonna have LEDs some are gonna have stage lights some of them are gonna just have you know, the lights above their head. So it's going to be very hard to reproduce it exactly, and everyone is exactly reproduced. So either Niji Sanji's lying here, or they suspended her slightly because she never got the full permissions, or they are taking their time as well to actually see if the permissions were done, and they're just like, ah, we privated it. No one's really going to hold our feet to the fire. We're just going to leave it that way. This all comes to a head right now because it has been about a month. She said that she was in the hospital on December 27th. So two days later, she said she was in the hospital. So she was under supervision. She just got access back to her phone, which seemed kind of iffy. Some people uh, were speculating a little too much and saying that she may have, you know, tried to hurt herself. 
she may have tried to do something to herself. Most people, like myself, even if I'm a Niji Sanji, dis- I don't like their, 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 their management. I really, really, really hope that it was just a simple accident that occurred. You know, people slip, people fall, that type of thing. And she had to go to the hospital to be, you know, under supervision for a little bit to make sure that she was okay. I hope the best for her. I hope she's recovering. I hope everything's fine. Uh, but here's what she put out. And then, you know, thank you for support since I've been gone. I'm discharged from the hospital. My pa- parents have been helping me after this accident. Thank you to my Dragoons for all the kindness and support. I will keep trying my best in the new year. Your artwork keeps me going. This was December 31st. Now, nothing. Nothing was done. From December 31st to when uh, Pomo Rainpuff graduated, no word from Selene. That's what makes you think that she's under, um, that she's being self-suspended. Because a lot of them, especially Selene afterwards and Selene beforehand, was saying a lot of things up until that. Maybe they told her, after you say this, you can't say anything. You you know, that's when your suspension begins. Or you, maybe the manager recommended you should stay quiet after this. Let everything blow over. Who knows what's happening? Only they both know. But Pomerain Puff on January 19th graduated. She had a call in for all... Niji Sanji Livers who wanted to, uh, you know, say goodbye, say a couple of words, talk to her a little bit before she was gone, before, because, you know, after that, she can't be in the corporate discord, she can't be on any of that type of stuff, she can't receive those types of calls. They technically can't contact her anymore through official discord channels, as far as, far as I recall. So she graduated, she had a call in, and no Selene. So people started, like Flipsy. The Flipsy got a lot of flack for this and a lot of harassment, which I do not condone any harassment. This is another tinfoil hat situation where people, because they had zero information, like myself, zero information besides what Selene says and Niji Sanji says, they were like, oh, well, maybe she wasn't allowed to. That's why people think stealth suspension. And that's all we know so far. And that's all I'm going to be saying so far. Uh, it could be a stealth suspension. It could be that she's just done with this because even in her past life account, uh, she just said that she was, we played Apex with some friends. And then after that was a bit of silence for the last, I think week or two, it's been silence, but she did say that she played some Apex with some friends. So she's been doing stuff with people, but it doesn't seem like she's been doing stuff with, um, with them, with anybody, at least not saying anything for like the last two weeks that I think was in like, like early, very, very early January. If I get my times correct, of course, correct me if I'm wrong that she said that. And we can only see what's going to happen in the future. Hopefully, if she does graduate, if she is in a suspension, she's feeling better. She's going to do better. If she does graduate, I wish the best for her because this management has been utter crap for her. Management in general in EN, as we've seen with Pomu and now with Selene, are horrible. They are really bad at doing their job. And that has to be most likely from above. It's just... From we saw with Zion, Zion Lanza, Zion Lanza, that it's like six livers per manager. That's a lot. That's a lot for someone to do. So in order for me to not rant too much longer, I appreciate you guys being here. This is the Mad Salvi. Check out my uh, socials in the description below. Check out what YouTube has for you on the screen right now. And have yourselves a beautiful day. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. Make sure you hydrate properly. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.